All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the PCV V2 fix kit for the 2011 Chevy Cruze, 1.4 liter GM turbo, yada yada. All right, I already got the intake manifold off. I have another video I just finished recording. The link will be in the description. There will be a link in the description of why I am putting this fix kit in there. The PCV system is terribly designed and this is how to fix it. If the rubber check valve is still installed, you'll be able to see the rubber nipple. Go ahead, get a flathead screwdriver, break it off, wiggle the manifold until it falls out. We're then going to plug this hole up with the screw, washer, and epoxy. All right, first things first, we gotta get this cleaned up. Look at that fucking junk in there. Uh, look at that. Uh, so, start. Clean all that up. I'm using brake fluid cleaner. Gonna get a toothbrush, got a screwdriver, scrape it out. Take off your uh, seal. I bought a new one. If yours looks good, probably gonna use it. I tend to use brand new ones though. All right, see I got my toothbrush in there. Coming at the bottom hole, going to all the angles. Just using a little brake clean. Get it all cleaned up. All right, use a little pressed air. Blow out the rest of the uh, brake fluid cleaner. You're gonna get your then screw it comes with. Gonna wanna get that hand started. You're gonna need a long ass, come on, where's the light at? A long ass screwdriver to get it down in there in that hole and uh, get that started. See the screw in there with the washer and the epoxy. So hard to get a shot in there. Um, put some extra in there. Went in through the top hole a bit too. This hole's all the way open, but you can kind of see it down there. Put a hole in the manifold. Grab your washer that comes with the kit. Just kind of push it back a little bit. I just went in the center of these things here. Uh, mark it, start drilling a hole. They say use a step bit. I started with a step bit, ran out of space, so I used the normal bit. I'm gonna wanna drill that to 9 sixteenths of an inch. Once we get that drilled, we're gonna get our five parts. We got here. Uh, this will go on here. This will go on the hole. Then the uh, rubber, washer, nut. I'm gonna use a file. File down the edges of your one washer and the nut. Do that until it will fit inside the hole. Go ahead and tighten that up. See the rubber washer gasket? It's just starting to spoo out. Just hand tight. You don't want to overdo it, you'll crack the plastic. The L piece wraps pipe dope around it. All right, you put your check valve on, make sure the arrow's pointing that way. And you'll get your last fitting, and that'll go on here. Make sure it's all taped up too. We put our hose on, hose clamp, come up, get the T brake booster vacuum connector. It's gonna go there. This is gonna plug into there. I'm gonna do this once I get it back in the car. All right, so now I got the hose connected to the T brake booster fitting and the brake booster plugged in and the whole manifold's back in. The screw of the washer is gonna be about hand tight. You're not gonna to wanna to strip that plastic out. Don't be afraid to really cake that epoxy on. Allow about an hour or two before you start the engine. The metal fittings are gonna be pretty snug. You're not going to wanna to tighten those against the plastic manifold though, you'll crack it. Uh, have two wrenches when you do tighten those up. So with that, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave something in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Thank you.